probably need to change the name of my uh, channel to Welcome to My Messy uh, Table or uh, Channel or Messy Something. But uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting here and I'm working on these necklaces. You know, uh, and they're turning out pretty good. You know, I really like them. And I think I'll probably like them too. You know, and, and the whites were absolutely gorgeous, you know, and then they always been my favorite. But I sit down and I started making this black one. <coughs> this thing. Oh my goodness. Where's the thing at? Trying to get something so you can hold it and see it right. It's not done. Oh, I'm getting cramps in my hands. <laughs> so I don't do enough wire wrapping. I'll do a lot and then I uh, won't do it for a while. All right, this thing is turning out. Drop dead gorgeous. I had no idea it was going to turn out this pretty. I guess the camera isn't doing it justice. But I'm going to put another row of two beads up here. And then, um, then I'll make the chain that goes up and wraps around the neck. But it turned out so pretty. I had to fight with it a little bit because it was trying, even though it was straight yesterday, it was trying to go crooked on me while uh, shaping the limbs and the trunk. And so, but it looks pretty straight now. They tend to do that. <clears throat> So sometimes I have to straighten them up from the back. I straighten them from the back. Turn around and it looks good in the front. So, but it's gorgeous. I had no idea. I want to just come on and show you that these are black onyx uh, rondelles. And that's a black onyx uh, cabbage. And they usually go good with those too. And I've never tried putting them uh, with a, uh, a rose gold or copper. Yeah, but. Yeah, they're 10 millimeter millimeters. But it's, it's an onyx from Brazil at that. So, and they're just, they are gorgeous. They're faceted. And they look so good. They look so well with this, uh, Tree of Life. I had no idea. It's going to turn out this pretty. But that's what I came on to share. And, and while I'm here, I'm going to, I was going to show you. I, I put it on Facebook, but... <clears throat> I kept staring at this ornament for a couple of days thinking I was finished. And it was just like something missing, something missing, something missing. And so I put another row of Swarovskis on it. And I mean, it turned, it changed the whole, it just, you know, changed it. First of all, now, now it's like a three tiered. But um, the cat's eyes. And then I just kind of like made a skirt. And then the inside part, you know, is, is like it was. But with the skirt coming down and with another tier of Swarovskis around it, it's just gorgeous. It's breathtaking. <laughs> it's sewed. And I, <laughs> I want to make me one just like it. 
and I probably just got just enough uh, of this material, this color, to do it. Um, I got some colors similar to this because this is some of my favorite colors, is, which is a, a light turquoise color when it comes to uh, beading and stuff. And um, it just turned out so pretty, but it belongs to somebody, and she paid me well. And I kept looking at it, and I'm like, man, it's just missing something. So I did that, and I just love it. And then down inside is some of the sea beads of the same color that I used to make it with. But that's all Swarovski's on there. Every row has a Swarovski, if not if not every row with uh, two or three Swarovski's per row. So that's all it is, sea beads and Swarovski's. Even the they'll pick the uh, solid ones. Those are Swarovski's also. And so it just turned out beautiful. And and I'm just like blown away with the <laughs> with the black one. I just wanted to come on and share that with y'all. I can't believe how well this is gonna turn out as a necklace. And so that that's it. And um I would try to make this on here, but my phone will get hot and it's hard to work around the phone and I don't really have a good setup. Heck, I don't even have a crafting room. I work in a little bitty area inside of my bedroom against the wall. So it's really tight here. So otherwise I'd probably try to have a better setup. But thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't like and share and and uh, you can leave a comment and what you think are you surprised at how pretty that's going that's coming out like i was you know with this when i get finished with it it's going to be another row of some beads before i go up and uh just tell me if, if you are surprised as i am because i'm like i oh, nobody's gonna want the black one but look at that i mean that's so pretty all right <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.